guys this is my first tutorial and uh, in this tutorial uh, we're going to be making a 3D tennis ball within uh, 3DS Max uh, and if you think that it looks a bit different to your one could be because I'm using 3DS Max 2010 whereas you might be using an earlier version um, if so don't worry about it uh, as long as it's I think 09 or 08 you should still be able to do this I think any below that uh, I think it's pretty different and it would be quite hard for you to follow this tutorial I mean I'm not absolutely sure but I'm pretty sure about that but uh, yeah if you're using 10, 09, 08 or whatever you know you should be fine with this um, so uh, yeah right first things first uh, throughout this whole tutorial we're going to be using a perspective view so what I do is uh, click on perspective and then hold down alt hit W and then you zoom into uh, perspective view and we're probably going to stay like this throughout the whole thing um, right so the first thing you want to do is click on create on the create tab uh, hit box create a box doesn't matter uh, like whatever like it doesn't matter how big you do it there because we're going to change it now right the parameters are going to be 50 by 50 by 50 and the segments going to be 2 by 2 by 2 okay right next thing oh and if you're wondering how I got these lines like the, ed like the edge lines on it kind of thing uh, I think it's called faced edges or something um, just hit F4 and it will toggle them on and off uh, have them on throughout this tutorial it will be a lot like, you know you, like you need them on basically um, <sighs> right right next thing you want to do is go to modify uh, yeah the modifier <coughs> modifiers in tool uh, it, yeah toolbar sorry um, and you want to go to parametric deformers and you want to find spherify there it is spherify and then there's your tennis ball you know show this to anyone and um, trust me mate they'll think it's like they'll think it's amazing trust me people you know what I mean like that is just the greatest tennis ball there is you know what I mean that is awesome, isn't it? That is top notch, mate. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding with you lot, man. No, there's still a lot more to go yet. Um, right. So, next thing you want to do is... Um, right. Hit... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, people. Um, yeah, right. Right-click on the object. Convert to an editable poly. And that will allow you to, uh, you know modify all the uh, vertexes and edges and all that kind of stuff polygons and that um, right so for now we're going to want vertexes so uh, click on this little vertex icon here and then we're going to want to modify this vertex and this uh, vertex um, right and then what we're going to do is go on the scale there this little box up here and we're going to scale it in using the x-axis okay this one here, the little red one, and um, whilst we're doing that, you're going to want to watch this little box down here with the X on it, okay? This little box down here, and the reason for that is because when I drag it in, we want it to go to, if you watch that little box, we want it to be at 60, okay? So there we go, I'm at 60, I'm going to let go, okay? Right, now if we change our view around here, then we're going to pick this one hold down control this one and then this time we're going to bring it in using the Z axes okay and so you want to watch this little box down here with a Z on it and we want it to be at 60 as well okay so there we go I'm at 60 I'm going to let go uh, go back to this view here <coughs> if, yeah by clicking a little home button there if you can't see it um, right then what we're going to want to do is um, get off vertexes so deselect vertexes by clicking back on it and then go on edge and then now we're going to modify the edges right so hold down control click get that one that one that one um, and just get a view right this one here this one this one um, this one here this one this one, 
Right, I'm gonna stop saying this one, okay? You can you can see what I'm doing, so just follow along with it. Right, and then as we get to here, we're gonna bring it back in, okay? By uh, selecting them two, we're not gonna touch this bit here, okay? So basically, I've just gone round through the middle, but not touch this end here. <coughs> right, once you've got all them lots selected, we are then going to right click on the object, find the chamfer. There we go, there it is. Click the little box next to it, don't click on the chamfer, okay? That allows us to change the properties and that. Right, it's set to one, so you want to apply that. And there you go, it's made another one there. Then we want to highlight that and change it to 0.25 and hit OK. And then you got that. Alright. Um, right, next thing is uh, to uh, get off edge face. Uh, yeah, get off edge. Get off the edges. Um, and then what we're going to do is go to modifiers. And we're going to go to subdivision, yeah, subdivision surfaces. And then we're going to go on mesh smooth, okay? <coughs> Click that. There you go, it's starting to look a little better. But then we're going to go here to the side, iterations, and we're going to change it up to two, okay? It looks even better now, do you know what I mean? It's times it by two, it's done it twice, you get me? Um, anyway, uh, then we're going to go to modifiers again, parametric deformers. And we're going to go to sphere, uh, yeah, spherify, which we've done in the beginning. Ah, see, now it's starting to look good, you know what I mean? Um, right, and then we're going to right click on it, convert to editable poly again. And there you go, you know what I mean? It's starting to look good, man, it's starting to look good. Right, now, if I just change my view a little bit, next thing we want to do is uh, get our edges again, so click on edges. Zoom in. Oh, too much. Right, zoom in. Right, now we want these edges, okay? That one, that one, that one there, that one, that one, that one, that one there, and that one. That should be around seven, I think. Hold on. Three. Okay, now it's a few more than seven, but um, anyway. I wasn't too sure, I was just guessing, you know what I mean. But uh, anyway, then what we're going to do is we could then select the edges of here, 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 you know, all the way around what we've already done, right? But an easier way, right? Hit loop, bang. There we go, man. All the way around, piece of piece, you know what I mean? Right. Then what we're going to do is hold down control and then uh, hit polygon All right and then we got that which is wrong okay um <coughs> hold on a minute people just uh okay I don't know what's gone wrong here why is it right hold on undo that undo again undo again oh shit actually redo 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 right and then go back onto edges again not the um not the uh what do you call it polygons um now for some reason it's chosen these ones as well which we don't want we just want these ones in here don't know why it's done it don't ask me don't fucking know so um what we're going to want to do is deselect everything then hit edges again then zoom in then just pick them uh, edges again like we did before but this time it shouldn't pick them outside ones it's because I've got to uh, deselect it first do you know what I mean? you know what I'm saying don't you people right now I want to loop just as we did before except now we've just got that right um remember hold control hit polygon says there we go that's what we want okay that's what we want right now what we want to do is right click uh, find bevel there it is hit the little box by the side of it